Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, and that's right from thumbnail you saw. Today is delivery day, and today we are going to be collecting one of the new cars that is joining my friend Gorov's collection. It's going to be parked beside the BMW M5 Competition LCI, which is the most expensive BMW M5 in India, and beside the Porsche Cayenne Tecate kit. And he also had a Mercedes-Benz E-Class, which delivery video you've seen on my channel, but it wasn't fit for him, so he sold it off. So right now we are getting another one. This is going to be a daily driver. For the wait guys, so what are we waiting for? And this is the car right over here, the Audi 2022 Q7 and look at the spec on this the color i am so sure the camera is not doing this justice but the color the spec on this is insane like you are not getting a car right now at this time because there is a lot of back order going on with audi and their production team in coming in india so yeah over here if we see the spec of this car is the suv is absolutely insane and in sunlight it's just brilliant and being parked beside the white color bmw m5 competition it looked just insane i'll show you guys interior exterior everything i'll show you around give you a proper background check of what it is and this is the next day after the delivery day i wasn't able to shoot a video yesterday so yeah it's absolutely brand new it's come yesterday only so guys what are you waiting for let's get started so guys the color on this car is now this color is a very different shade of blue it's like a purple kind of blue uh, let's i'll just try to show you out guys how it is but it's not visible that much in the camera but if you guys can make it out it looks like a purple color shade but yeah it's a blue color car it's a darker shade of blue but in sunlight it just looks it, it has a different spec if you can see it over here i am not sure but yeah i'm just trying to put it the best and yes the normally this car doesn't come in this spec uh, all everything that you see over here which is blacked out like the q7 logo the 55 tfsi quattro logo and the uh, the exhaust tips that you see these are fake exhaust tips but yeah all of these that come in the car generally are all in this color this is the silver chrome but my friend went out and he blacked them out the wheels alloy wheels also they are pretty standard they I guess uh, the silver color these don't look that well with this car like this spec so my friend went for a black shade or other wheels as well and in the front also the grille is generally chromed out but over here we have the black chrome everywhere and this color is called as Navara blue which is an insane color and I can see it over here that's what makes it really special Navara blue color you don't get it often over here this is the first car in this spec and uh, if you ask me personally being parked beside a absolutely all white m5 competition lci with the similar accents with the black and white contrast over here with the navara blue and black contrast and the cayenne with the white and black contrast it'll absolutely stand out and ton and the audi has just like the tail lights if you see of this they had the matrix leds in the back and in the front and let me just remove the key for this car i'll show you guys what the key looks like so here is the key in my hand this is the new audi key if you see it's got a lot of weight to it but yeah it's all metal it's supposed to be but it's a car that costs around 1.10 cross and it's no joke so uh, this is the lock and this is the unlock so once you unlock the car the leds everything starts to flash and let's take a seat inside how the interior looks let's see so over here the spec is a dark brown color with black it's dual tone contrast over here and on the door handles you see, you see there are piano black wood inlays and this is a totally highly spec'd out car i must say let me just switch on the car but if i do there's the start stop button over here the parking assist everything is there and once i just start it on it just starts on perfectly with no issues whatsoever and this car doesn't come in with soft coat doors i pretty disappointed about that and now the climate control is gonna blow off pretty much because it's really hot outside over here and here you see you are greeted with this the virtual cockpit from Audi which is an absolutely brilliant way of display like the graphics on it are so brilliant like you don't have any issues whatsoever and if I press on this like the various systems menus are there Bluetooth everything like that 
everything is available and this is the one thing to do about audi the three screen that you see with the interior everything so uh, the biggest highlight over here is there are these two screens the first screen this is a 10.1 inch screen this is the 8.6 is a smaller one and this is the virtual cockpit so totally we have three screens which is just insane and the technological advancement audi has done in this field is just unimaginable like the screen over here if you see there's not an exactly a touch screen i must say it's a haptic feedback screen because if you touch it you feel your clicking sound i'll just switch off the climate control for a second and here's the sound see it's a haptic haptic feedback and which looks pretty insane uh the graphics on the screen is pretty nice like you don't have any issues whatsoever and the various things if you want to navigate through it's all there and over here the this screen is mostly used for your media and infotainment everything like that the lower screen that is below it's for your various modes uh, the climate control mostly most probably and over here we have the physical selectors for the volume the parking assist and the entire system the start stop button and over here on the cockpit uh, over here we see the various the rev counter the uh, speedometer everything and if we see the boot is open it is showing right now so if i open the boot just it's automatic and it's going to open from here as well and that's the boot open and i'll just close it down now inside it's a very plush environment i must say the panoramic sunroof if i open this up right now we are uh, just a second let me switch on the car for a moment and if i open the panoramic sunroof the sunroof goes to the entire length of the car it's really really huge and being the panoramic sunroof sunroof going to the entire length makes it really huge and it lets a lot of light inside the car the windows are pretty down the doors so doors are also pretty huge and if we see the interior the quality is impeccable i must say if we open up the this your center console over here you have the wireless phone charger and everything like that the charging cable strap and the entire this is the gear selector if we see in the press you press this button uh and change the gears so yeah the reverse neutral park drive and sport mode is there and in general the quality if we see the entire stitching and all the leather feels really high quality the piano black interior and everything like that and from behind also we take a seat inside uh, at the back in uh, some time for a lot of struggle i was open to, able to open the for a hood of this car and look at this the power house over here the v6 petrol engine 3 liter from audi that is a new unit for the v6 variant and all the electronics that you can see over here and man being an engineer it's pretty difficult to determine what is what but still yeah uh, the uh, most of the main situation is hid under this cover over here but mostly yeah it's a very big engine i must say it's a v6 petrol engine 3 liter which produces around 350 horsepower and uh, it has around 500 nm of torque let's close this off and close this gently does it yeah let's close it up so yeah this engine comes with around 350 horsepower and around 500 newton meters of torque which is a 3000 cc engine and it comes with a 8 speed automatic gearbox which is very swift and changes gear like this swiftly you don't understand how it is like the changing in gears which is pretty good and this car comes with air suspension as standard as standard i'm not sure but yeah this car particular one has air suspension on front and in the rear so which is pretty efficient for comfort drive and uh, just talking about comfort let's go and take a seat inside the back rear of this car and in the rear also it's pretty roomy with the panoramic sunroof open and i will keep the door open for once cuz it's very hot right now and the best part about this is it's a four zone climate control so i might get my own this person the second passenger get its own and let's close the door for a while and the glass panel you see over here everyone just going around takes a look at this car cuz it's a really good spec I must say it's a seven seater, but uh, I doubt that seven people will sit in it properly. And it's very wide, very huge. In the center seat, also I'll take a seat over here. I am uh, five foot nine, and I fit very easily over here. And I have a lot of headroom as well. Knee room is very much enough for me right now. And the entire car, you can see, 
So the person drive this car is around six foot two, and which is a huge number. Like, then he's it's a huge person, and still I am sitting behind him. I have a lot of knee room available. Headroom is plenty enough for me, which is nice in this SUV. But the rear seats are just too crammed up, and for that purpose, they've just closed them up because nobody's gonna sit inside them. Uh, it's made only for children, and I'm not going to try and show you how to fit in it because I genuinely won't. It's a very small seat. But let's take a step outside. The quality and all is pretty nice for the interior. Let's take a look in the rear of this car, and if you see, it's an automatic tailgate, and. Here you see, so over here we have the buttons for the air suspension. This is for to lower the car and uh, uh, to lower the height, the ride height, the lower, and this is uh, get higher. Then over here we have the seats closing and opening. So if I press this button, so these buttons are to close and open the rear seat, which is this one, the both the seats, which is as you guys can see, it's pretty small. The partition is also provided over here for your various luggage around to keep them in place. And you get a okay, first aid kit from Audi over here, and the lighting and all is available in the rear, and the nice cuff plate in order to not to scratch out the paint. Automatic tailgate, of course, for this car. But yeah, it has a gesture control also. One thing Germans really don't know how to do is the fake exhaust. The thing is, they make it look very obvious that they've made exhaust no places for the exhaust, but there is no exhaust. It goes from the under the car, but they've given the surrounds and in this spec, it looks really nice. For some reason, the black chrome that you can see over here, it doesn't show it off that it's fake, but it makes it like it gives it a more uh, lifted look and it's pretty nice in the sunlight. Also, if you see the black and the uh, Naraya blue, Navara blue. Sorry, Navara Blue, yeah, and it's just an insane car if you see. So the Q7 is a car that fits in with the Audi lineup at uh, at par with the BMW X5, which is also pretty huge if you ask me. It's gonna be a great time with uh, going around side by side with the Audi and the German BMW, both the German brands and the Porsche also German, I must say. So yeah, all the German brands are together in one house and one garage, and it looks pretty nice also in the sunlight. And man, I just can't get over the spec of this car because it's really, really beautiful. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. And the ride that I've been on it right now, by up till now, it's very smooth also the engine. I'll surely go for a drive later in this car. After some time, let, let, some, old, let the owner drive it first properly because he also hasn't driven it well. Uh, it's just around max 50 kilometers totally done. And it's absolutely brand new. And the brand new car smell is still inside, which is really, I really crave for that smell. And this is Garage Goals right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram to never miss any craze of my updates and reels about all the upcoming videos. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next video, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.